you're only in it for the money, for the free stuff, for the brand trips and all that kind of stuff, you're going to fail. Hey y'all, oh, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up lovely, how you doing? If you're not, oh, welcome to the family. Today's video is gonna be something a little bit different. You know, I'm gonna be talking about the things that you need to do to create the content that you want. And if that's something that interests you, make sure you like, comment, subscribe so you don't miss any more of my videos. Let's get right into it. Okay, y'all, we're just going to hop right into it. I already did my brows off camera. Check out my Instagram so you guys can see how I did my brows. But yeah, I just wanted to talk to you guys about just creating the content that you want. <sighs> Y'all hear me talk about this all the time. And I just really want to dive into how to create the content that you want. Okay, so we're just going to, you know, talk through this while I'm doing my makeup because I got somewhere to be. But anyways, <laughs> so the first thing, first, ugh, first things first is all about so the first thing the things that you hear about a lot in terms of creating content is to niche or not to niche y'all like i just hear so many things about this and not a lot of um hmm. everybody i guess you could say everybody's just different in terms of should they niche should they not niche you know what i mean and no, like I just think that it's really up to you and what kind of content you are creating so the kind of content that you want to create like if you want to do like educational content if you want to do like beauty or lifestyle or things like that like and I think I guess what I'm trying to say is, is that if you want to be considered an expert in, in something I think that you should really niche down like for example like um You'll see a lot of like people who are doing like let's say for example like credit card or like a specific business. I think that is perfect to niche down is when you are doing a specific business. But if you just want to be kind of like a lifestyle content creator, um, I find no reason to necessarily niche down because that's just kind of I find that you're limiting you're limiting yourself when you're niching down <clears throat> so you know that's really just dependent on you and what kind of and what kind of content that you want to make <clears throat> so in terms of that you know niching there's pros and cons to it like like I said it makes it easier because you know what kind of content that you want to make because it's very very specific but it also makes it harder because it is so specific and when you feel like you want to um, switch <clears throat> like lanes and stuff you have already built an audience based on the content that you want to make that you've started making and you're kind of like an expert in so that's just the content that people are just expecting of you so when you decide that you're switching people are just like wait a minute like this is not what i signed up for so you might lose your audience but and it could be difficult to grow <clears throat> a new audience sorry i'm still i'm still sick y'all my bad <clears throat> that's just kind of what happened with me i started off wanting to be um, a mom influencer and then I quickly realized that you know that's just not the lane that I want to go anymore <clears throat> which is fine but I built my audience on Instagram off of you know being a mom influencer and that's just not what I want to do anymore <clears throat> that's just really not what I want to do <laughs> anymore and there's nothing wrong with that but um <laughs> you know <clears throat> people people feel a little bit weird <laughs> um and i find that as well for brands for brands they might you know not i guess it depends on the brand i don't want to say for certain brands they might not care but um <clears throat> i'm so sorry y'all like i'm literally still fighting this sickness <clears throat> um for certain brands, it really, really depends. Um, 
because they might not care. They wouldn't be like, okay, fine, niche down, don't niche down, like that's fine. But um, you know, some some brands really want you to be specific. Like if you were a dog content creator, you know, they want you to do or a pet content creator, they want you to do pet stuff. And you know, if you're adding beauty to like pet stuff, they're like, mm, what's going on? That's not what I ask, you know? So it really, really depends. I I do find that brands would rather you be multifaceted because um, you are, you know, you serve a wider audience, but it is also important to not be doing the most either because then brands are like, okay, what what is it, what value are you bringing to your audience if you're so multifaceted? Does that make sense? I hope I'm making sense. But, you know, that's really just up to you what kind of content that you want to create. Mm, I haven't used this Kosa's um, concealer in, like, forever. I love it. <laughs> I just used the uh, Sephora Bright Future, and I'm using the Kosa's um, Revealer in 8.5. And I use, you know, the Kosa's SPF in the color... Uh, deep neutral. This is really pretty. I like this. So add a little bit of that. And then I'm going to add my e.l.f. concealer if I can find my baby girl. She's my ride or die. In terms of brightening. We're going to do super bright. Okay, the sun is out. <laughs> But yeah, so that's the first step, is to niche or not to niche. That's really just dependent on you as a creator, what you want to do. <clears throat> okay, sec second thing in creating the content that you want is equipment. Now, I started off with using my iPad, y'all. My first ever YouTube video, it was with my iPad, okay? And the quality was trash because I didn't know that to use the back camera and it's like the old, old iPad. Now I started YouTube in 2018, so my iPad is old, old. <coughs> it's super old, okay? Okay, so I'm using the next Can't Stop, Won't Stop. But yeah, so I started off with um, using my iPad and just natural lighting. If that's what you have, use that. There is nothing wrong with that, okay? Now we have upgraded, we have upgraded to new iPhones and stuff, which is fine. <clears throat> there is nothing wrong with that. Shout outs to people who can't afford it, but not everybody can afford that, you know? Oh my God, I hope I'm recording. <clears throat> I had to bring old Sasha girl back for this bright under eye, honey. Increasing where? Not here. Okay. So now, ooh, I gotta blend this out, honey. You know, now there's so many lights and things like that that you can buy. Like I started off with my iPad, and then I went, I upgraded to my Canon G7X, and then now I'm recording with my Rebel T7. Now, you do not, and I want to reiterate this, you do not need all this stuff, I promise you. I feel like the biggest thing is using your lighting and your the quality of your content will completely elevate. You have good lighting, you are Gucci, I promise you. Okay, and the last thing is being disciplined. You have to be a disciplined girl because if you're not disciplined honey it's just not gonna go it's just not gonna go well because you're gonna start you're gonna stop you're gonna start you're gonna stop that's exactly what happened to me i wasn't disciplined enough i thought you know what i'm gonna start this and it's just going you know just going to be the best thing ever mm -mm. <laughs> you really 
really, really, really have to be disciplined. There's so many things in place <clears throat> now for you to be disciplined. There's so many apps, there's so many like tools, like planners, whether it's digital or physical. There's too much stuff out there for you to not be disciplined. <clears throat> you know what I mean? And that's, I'm talking, I'm not only talking to y'all, I'm talking to myself too. Trust and believe. I am talking to myself too. Because that was my word for 2022, was discipline. God gave me that word. And I did the best that I could, but it wasn't, I still kept making excuses for myself. And God is not a God of excuses. So he was like, mm, that's not enough. You, you, no, you can't say that you want this, but you're not doing what you need to do to get it. Okay, trust me, God done check me, honey. <clears throat> and I don't want God to check you too. So, don't be like me. <laughs> be better than me. That is why I'm telling you guys this, you know? So y'all can be better than me. I'm using the um, Tower 28 Cream Bronzer in the color Simon. I really like this bronzer. <clears throat> but yeah, like, you know, I use, um, I'm gonna tell you guys the, the kind of apps that I use. I use the Lightroom app. I use CapCut to edit on my phone. And if you have an iPhone, you know, there's InShot as well that you can download. And there's also, you know, iMovie. There's Clips, iClips, I think that's what it's called, that you can use as well to edit. Like, there's so many editing things. You know, there's um, scheduling apps called Later, Preview. Now, you don't even need to download all these things so you can save space on your phone. Instagram, now you can um, schedule your post on Instagram now. So, it's just kind of like, what excuse do you have now? You know? There's literally... There's literally no excuse now because there's there's all these things that are put in place for you to succeed. So it's just kind of like, you know, if you're saying, mm, I don't have time to do this and that, put in, put in the time. You know, that was me. I was like, mm, I don't have time to do this. Like I am literally, like I literally have to schedule time. This is Danessa Myrick's <sighs> Yummy Skin in the color Dancing Queen. Um, I literally have to put in time because if I don't, how am I going to create the life that I want, you know? The life that I want, I can't lack discipline because, you know, when I get to that point of elevation, I don't have the systems in place to do that. To succeed because I didn't start off that way you see what I mean <laughs> and like I said from somebody who started off with being a mom influencer and now that I'm switching that now that I've switched it it's so hard to kind of get back up again I'm gonna use um, the thread beauty color lipstick in the color fiery like I said, the sun is out today. I want something orangey. And Vanessa just wasn't doing it for me. Mm -hmm. There we go. Blend, 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 blend. Mm -hmm. There we go. Ooh, yeah. I don't want to look like a dang clown, honey. Use my foundation brush to fix that. There we go. Fixed. Much better. <clears throat> but I'm saying all of this, y'all, because I was, I am still where you guys are at. Like, there's no, <laughs> like, I'm not trying to say, like, I'm better than anybody. No, 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 honey. I am. 
I am where you guys are at right now in terms of being a content creator. Like I had my first brand deal for like for real, for real last year and it was a hair company. I still use that hair company still to this day, but like it wasn't even in my quote unquote, quote and unquote niche. Um, for real, for real, but I took it. And it was by chance too, because you know, I used this app, this website called Octoly and um that's just how i was able to get the brand deal and speaking of that there's so many so many um websites and apps that you can join to be able to get noticed by brands like i thought you really have to start off with like money and you do you have to invest in yourself and do all these things to be able to be the best content creator that you want to be but there's so many free um, websites and things like that that you can sign up for that you really don't need to to pay so much money, you know, for that. It's just a nice little stepping stone, for real, for real. To kind of, you know, just to get you started. <clears throat> like I said, y'all, I am right where y'all are at. This is Dulce of Colors Chocolate Chip. This is my favorite lip liner ever, okay? And I'm going to be using... Um, Sephora number 15 is a satin lipstick. <clears throat> and then in the middle, I'm gonna use a toffee from Juvia's Place. Kinda, no? Well, Toned it down a bit. <laughs> okay, let me mattify my face. But yeah, y'all, this is like the final look. And I'll just tell you guys, you know, my final, final thoughts on all of this stuff, okay? <sighs> Being a con- I feel like we're in the time, especially since, since the pandemic, everybody wants to be a content creator. If that's what you want to do, there's so many tips and tricks and things like that that's available. And it can be extremely overwhelming, especially if you're just starting out. I know this sounds very cliche, but just do it. Whatever content that you got, do it. If you're walking to the mall, Record, post it, and keep going. I promise you it will all be worth it. But if you're in it for the money, it's not going to yield the results that you want it to. You have to remember your why, why you're doing this, and if you should continue doing this. Because if you're only in it for the money, for the free stuff, for the brand trips, and all that kind of stuff, you're going to fail. Because the market is so oversaturated and there's so many people who have that same mindset that are stuck where you're stuck. And the people who remember their why and why they wanna do this and that they actually enjoy creating content, those are the ones that are going to those brand trips that have those brand deals and doing all of those things because they are real, they're authentic, and they're not faking it. So remember that, all right? Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If you guys like these chit chat, you know, get ready with me, so let me know, I will gladly do them, you know, and what other stuff that you guys want me to talk about. Leave them down in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!